Hello, my name is Amores Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today, I'm going to take you briefly on numbering and report creation in Tecla structures. In this episode, you will learn quite a bit of things. Number one, the options available for numbering your model, a model like this. Number two, how the marks are assigned in the, money, in the numbering. Number three, how to check part marks. And number four, how to use report templates. Let's go ahead. Before we move forward, uh, in, in, defining number, in defining numbers to be used for parts, you use numbering series to divide, to divide part assembly and cast unit numbers into groups. For example, you can allocate separate you can allocate separate numbering series to different part types for beams, columns and bracing like here. When I double click on that column, this dialog box for the column will come up. Under numbering series, we have parts and assembly. Under part Tecla has, by default, give, give, given it a part mark of M, and uh, in the assembly, it's given C. We'd start numbers 1 and 1. So it will be on series going 1, 2, 3, and so on. There you are. But on the same breath, you can change this to whatever number you want. The part number to start from. You can, you can also change this prefix. You can give it even D, even Q, even G, whatever you want to name it, but we ju we'll just leave it at M and C and bring it back to 1. On, uh, on this member, it's given part number M, but on assembly is given B, but uh, start number is 1 and assembly one it goes in series one two three four and till all the part members of the same kind are named now running the numbering when you initiate the numbering process in tecla tecla structures assign marks to parts assemblies and cast units which is very quite interesting and uh, very nice to use. Okay, let's go ahead, right click, disable that command. Numbering settings, under, under numbering settings, if, if you go to drawing and reports, we'll find numbering settings. Under numbering settings, we have numbering, family numbering, and we've already we had already named the parts. We can uncheck that. We'll come back and check it. We close that. We can't apply and okay now. You can also change the part numbers part position number you can give you can give it any change assembly number we've clicked that and uh, we've been told fail to get selected obviously because I've I've clicked that but we've not selected which number to num uh, to be given numbers we go to perform numbering. We have numbering series, weld numbers, number modified objects. Number modified objects, maybe you've added number, another member here, but was not selected while performing your numbering.
we go back to numbering we'll click this make sure while numbering renumber all must be checked we'll click apply okay we want to number all these members all the members in the model we will select the whole model by control a there you are everything has been uh, has been selected now we will go to perform numbering click numbering perform numbering click number series of selected objects we'll click that numbering is complete click on the screen to deselect the whole model now you can take a look and click on that member click right click go to inquire check the part number part position is, is 11 part assembly is 15 part position is m11 on and on the assembly is uh, c15 and this dialog box con dialog box control contain everything you you might need weight area and so forth and so on we cancel that we check this click and right click go to inquire part maximize that part position is m26 assembly position is b31 with all the details of that member are here next we are going to to creating report creating report we will control a all the parts have been selected now what we'll do under drawing and reports we will go to report we click report now our model everything is selected we will go to reports under we go to report under report templates we have various templates here but what we want is the material lists in excel we'll click that and click create from all we'll click that click ok but once you've clicked this create from all on the command bar down here the program is communicating to you that the the report you've requested is being created you will have to wait for some time or not that long on the same breath title 1 title 2 here you can enter the project name the, the report name and the project name and any other thing you want to add this will appear on the report you can mis minimize that now we will extract our report in the folder of, of structure one for this model under this folder is where our report has been taken to we will go to see structure uh, tecla structure models and uh, go to structure one and get our report we will go right away it's still generating 
will minimize this. We go to C and open that. On, uh, or inside the reports, we have the material list Excel. Double click on it. Click yes. Close that. This is our report generated from the model. When we were selecting the template from the template report or to estimate the total value of the whole project for fabrication and erection. Now this is printable and uh, submittable for procurement purposes. Thanks. We will we will wind up at this point and thanks a lot for watching this video.